At the Worldwide Developers Conference this Monday, Apple announced the release of their new MacBook Airs. While there were no actual changes to the weight and size, and no noticeable changes made to the outward appearance, they boasted about the extended battery life, faster flash memory, and the low environmental impact. Well, outward appearances don't mean much to us, so we're taking a look inside by giving the 13-inch MacBook Air the iFixit treatment and tearing it down. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and bear with me today because it's not only my first teardown, but I also had emergency wisdom tooth surgery. So I may be a little puffy and maybe in a little bit of pain, but that's not going to stop me, so let's jump right in. With the 13-inch model weighing in at a super light 2.96 pounds and the still amazing profile, which is only 0.68 inches at its thickest, the Air carries on the tradition of ultra-portable computing. But that's not the only tradition this MacBook is carrying on. This machine even has the same model number as the 2012 version. In fact, to the untrained eye, there are no differences between this model and the 2012 version. But there is a difference. Can you spot it? That's right. The 2013 MacBook Air has a slightly different microphone hole. After exhausting our eyes trying to find something unique about this new version, we gave up and turned our attention inward to see what was making the new Air run more efficiently. Opening the MacBook Air was relatively easy with the exception of needing one of our increasingly useful pentalobe drivers. After removing 10, count them 10, pentalobe screws holding the rear case on, we got our first look inside. And maybe it shouldn't be a surprise, but the machine that looks the same on the outside looks the same on the inside. Well, there are a few differences, but we'll get to those in a bit. Like with the other versions of the MacBook Air, this battery takes up the majority of the rear case. This battery is a 7.6 volt, 7,150 milliamp hour battery, which is an upgrade from the 2012's 7.3 volt, 6,700 milliamp hour power source. This upgrade most certainly contributes to the increased battery life, which according to Apple is around 12 hours. Pretty impressive. Next out of the case was the flash memory. Apple claims a 45% increase in performance with these upgraded Samsung chips. Previous generation MacBook Air models use the SATA interface, while the new version is using the PCIe, which can reach speeds of up to 800 megabytes per second. Next out is the totally redesigned Airport card. This chip has added 802.11ac Wi-Fi connectivity thanks to its Broadcom BCM4360, which enables operation on the 5 gigahertz band at speeds up to 1.3 gigabits a second, and communication via Bluetooth 4.0. Lastly, it only took us a couple of screws to get the logic board out, and with it, we were introduced to the 1.3 gigahertz dual core Intel Core i5 processor and the Intel Thunderbolt controller. Here at iFixit, we're interested in knowing just how repairable devices are. Not just because we want to support the growing DIY repair community, but because repair is essential in ensuring we're making the best use of raw materials possible, and that we're on the path towards responsible consumption. To that end, we score every device we tear down for repairability between 1 and 10, 1 being the least repairable and 10 being the most repairable. The 2013 13-inch MacBook Air scored a 4 out of 10, and here's why. On the plus side, a lot of the parts are pretty easily replaceable. The negatives are the use of proprietary screws on the case, which require a special driver. As with other MacBook Airs, this machine's biggest detriment is the lack of upgradability. The RAM is still soldered to the logic board, and the SSDs are not compatible between generations. And that's it for this teardown. For the complete teardown, including tons of high-quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. And while you're there, check out the teardowns for the brand new 11-inch MacBook Air and the Airport Extreme. We've got some busy terror downers in the office today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at iFixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash iFixit.